Imagine you run a flow twice. The last task in the flow fails the first time you run, so you fix your task and the flow runs successfully. However, the task field missing description takes a long time to run and you need to wait a long time for the second run to finish. Instead of rerunning few missing description is a way that you can save the task results in the first run and then reuse its results in the second run. That is when catching comes in handy. Catching allows you to efficiently reuse the results of tasks that may be expensive to run without actually running the code that defies the task. To use catching in prefect, specify catch key function. A catch key indicates if a run is identical to another run. If prefect finds a run with a matching catch key, it will use the catch run. To catch a task based on its input, we start with import task input hash from prefect. Then we use task input hash as the value of catch key function. This tells prefect to keep using the catch results if the task inputs do not change and the catch doesn't expire. By default, a catch doesn't expire. If you want a catch to expire after a period of time, add catch expiration and specify the duration after which a catch expires. Since I want my catch to expire after one day, I will import time delta from day time. And I use time delta to tell prefect that I want my catch to expire after one day. To test that caching actually works, we can run the flow process data choice and see if the execution time of the second run is faster than the first run. Since this function takes only one second to run, it can be difficult for us to know the difference between using caching and not using caching. So let's make this function longer by using time slip. And let's leave for 30 seconds. So this task should take around 30 seconds to run in the first run. Let's start with the first run. Awesome. After 30 seconds, our script finishes running. Now let's run this a second time to see if it's faster to run our script. Cool, we finished running our script in less than 5 seconds. If we look at the summary of the flow runs, we can see that the first run that doesn't use catching takes 33 seconds to run, while the second run that uses catching takes only 3 seconds to run. And if we click on the run that use catching and click task runs, we can see that few missing description takes 0 seconds to run because prefect uses its previous results instead of execute few missing description again. 